Okay, this is take one of the reveal of all these monsters and stuff. Uh, I'm not recording audio yet though. Let's do that. So Ted from Nerd Immersion, the number one D&D &D investigative journalist, somehow got his hands on photos of a very early copy of Morning Kanan's Monsters of the Multiverse, the newest bestiary coming out later this month with reprints in this gift set of Xanathar's Guide to Everything and Tasha's Cauldron of Everything. Now, this book is largely being marketed as a bestiary, but Ted used those photos to release this <laughs> informative video about the player races and changes to a number of the player races that are going in that book, but he totally skipped over the table of contents about all the monsters that are actually inside. And as somebody who already has Volo's Guide to Monsters and Morning Kanan's Tome of Foes, which we've been told are the two bestiaries that are kind of being shoved into this new book, I am really curious about what monsters are actually going to be in Mordenkainen's Tome of the Multiverse, or Monsters of the Multiverse, and whether or not I really need to get it if I already have these two books. That new book is going to include revised stat blocks for every single one of these 250 plus monsters. I'll tell you the exact number in just a bit. But yeah, right off the bat, from what I've taken from those photos that he showed in the video of the table of contents, had to cast them onto my TV so I could see it really big because the photos were blurry as heck. It was the best way I could try to enhance them. And then reading them off my phone while looking at a spreadsheet alphabetically organized of all the monsters in Morning Canons and all the monsters in Volos, I've narrowed down every single monster inside. And I can tell you that there are, okay, let's actually see here, 260 monsters included in this book, including potentially one new one that is really weird, so I'm curious about it, and I really want to get your opinion on what this thing might be, and unfortunately missing just a handful of monsters, again, as far as I can tell, missing a handful of monsters from Volo's Guide. So I'm going to go through the whole list really briefly here, and then we'll talk about it. And just because this is the easiest way to go through the list and show you all the names, here's the spreadsheet that I made up uh, to look at all these different monsters and verify from these blurry pictures looking at the alphabetical order. Okay, does that word look like that word a little bit? Yeah, this is how I did it. We have the five Abishais from Morning Canaan's Tome of Foes. Black, blue, green, red, white. We have the Alhoun from Volo's Guide to Monsters. Alkalith, Alip. Omnizu, Honest Hag, which was a weird one here because just a little lower, we'll see the Burr Hag, and they really went out of their way to put things in like easy to recognize categories, so I found it odd that they didn't put those two hags together, whatever. Archdruid, Archer, Armanite, Astral Dreadnought, Babbao, Bail, Balhanoth, Banderha, Baphomet, Bard, Bargast, Burbalang, Our Burr Hag, Blackguard, Bodak, Boggle, Boneclaw, Bulizau, I have no idea what that is. Cadaver Collector, Canaloth, Catoblopass, and then this new section, or it might have been a section that existed in Volos called Cattle, and this is where we get our first one that I really couldn't identify, but under the under here, we had Aurox, the Ox, a monster from Volos, just a regular cow, basically, a Stench Cow, and one other one that I could not see, but it really looks like two words, the first one starting with a D, and the second one may be starting with an R. So I thought it could be uh, this creature just called the Roth. I don't actually know if that's how it's pronounced, R-O-T-H-E with, with an accent mark on it, um, because that was just another cow included in Volos. So maybe that's all that is. Uh, later on is our, is our one other maybe new monster. That's not what that was. Anyway, Cave Fisher, Champion, Chitin, Choker, Trolldrith, uh, a new category, sort of, because they're just named slightly differently now. The Clockwork Bronze Scout instead of the Bronze Scout from Morning Kingdom's Tome of Foes. So there's four of these here. The Iron Cobra, the Oaken Bolter, the Stone Defender. We have the Cloud Giant Smiling One, the Corpse Flower, Cranium Rat, Swarm of Cranium Rats, Darkling, Darkling Elder, Death Kiss, Deathlock, Deathlock Mastermind, and Deathlock White, Deep Scion, Demogorgon, Darrow, Darrow Savant, Devourer, Dragoloth, a category of seven... Seven dinosaurs here, all from Volos. <laughs> and, and now here's the one that I think might be a new monster, guys. So I'm going to put this on the screen for you to help verify what the heck you think this is. After all those dinosaurs, right after Velociraptor, really looks like Dolphin, which was a creature included in Volos. Okay, cool. But then right under that, there's another line, two words. The first word 
looks almost exactly like dolphin as well. So this is telling me, like, is there some variant dolphin creature included in this new book that didn't exist in a prior book? Maybe I'm just really missing something obvious. I Hopefully I am, and you can tell me how silly I'm being in the comments. Moving on. The Dragoloth, the drow... Oh, okay, wait, there's how many different... We've got six different drow, all from Mordekainen's. The Arachnomancer, Favored Consort, House Captain, Inquisitor, Matron Mother, and Shadow Blade. And then there are nine Dwergars, all from Mordekainen's. Despot, Cavalrachni, 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 Mindmaster, Soulblade, Stoneguard, Warlord, Zarorn, Hammerer, and Screamer. The Dybbuk, the Eidolon, a little note on the Eidolon coming at the end of this list. Stay tuned. Our four Eladrin, the Elder Brain, Elder Tempest, four Elemental Myrmidons, Air, Earth, Water, and Fire, of course, Fire Giant Dreadnought, Fire Newt Warlock of Imix, Fire Newt Warrior, which is a slightly renamed version of our regular Fire Newt from Morning Cadence Tome of Foes. Now it's the Fire Newt Warrior. The Flail Snail, the Flind, Fraz Urblue, Frogamoth, Frost Giant Everlasting One, Frost Salamander, Gauth, Gazer, Garion, Giant Strider, Gif, Girillon. I can never pronounce that one right. A bunch of Githyanki and Githzerai here. Five, all from Morning Canons already. Three Knolls, all from Volos. Grey Render, Grazit. Three Grungs, all from Volos. Guard Drake, Hellfire Engine. Our two hoblin Hobgoblins from Volos. A Howler, Hutajin. A Hydroloth, Zweeblex, Kyrin, three Kobolds from Volos, Kored, Kraken Priest, Kruthic Hive Lord, Kruthic, oh, okay, a three Kruthics from Mordekainen's Tome of Foes, Lucrata, Leviathan, Martial Arts Adept, Marut, Master Thief, Maorezi? I feel like I never even read that one before. The Maw Demon, Measle, Meanlock, Maragon, Marinaloth, Mind Witness, Moloch, Malidius, Morkoth, Mouth of Grolantor. There's a bunch of stuff here. It's standing out to me. I haven't I haven't read those books in a while. Nabasu, Nagpa, Narzugan, Niyogi. Yeah, okay, we got our three Niyogis, Hatchling, Standard, and, and Master. Neolithid, ne Neothalid, Nightwalker, Nilbog, Nuparibo, three Oblexes, Spawn, Adult, and Elder. Our four special ogres from Morning Canyon's Tome of Foes, the Battering Ram, Bolt Launcher, Chain Brute, and Howda. Then in Oinoloth, Orcus, Orthon, Phoenix, Quickling, Redcap, Retriever, Rudderkin, Sea Spawn. Almost done now, guys. Three Shad Archai from <laughs> Morning Canons. Our two Shadow Mastiffs from Volos. Shusava, Sebriex, Skulk, Skull Lord, Slithering Tracker. Our five Shadow Sworn from Morning Canons, Tome of Foes. Spawn of Kyus. And our five Star Spawn from Morning Canons, Tome of Foes. Our male and female Steeder. A Steel Predator, which I thought was weird not being put with the Clockwork ones. That kind of threw me off while sorting this out. Stone Cursed, Stone Giant Dreamwalker, Stone Giant Quintessent, Swarm of Rot Grubs, Swashbuckler, Sword Wraith Commander, Sword Wraith Warrior, Tanaruk, Titivalus, Talinkali, Tortle, Tortle Druid, Trapper, Four Trolls from Morningcane and Stone of Foes, Ulitharid, Vampiric Mist, Vargoyle, Varguli? I don't know how to pronounce that guy still. Vegapygmy, Vegapygmy Chief, and Vegapygmy Thorny, which I thought was a new creature because I didn't recognize that, but I'm pretty sure it's just like the beast plant thing that the Vegapygmies ride. Our War Priest, our three Warlock NPC monsters, Archfey, Fiend, and Great Old One. Uh, Warlord, Wastrolith, our nine Wizard NPC monsters here, so it's all eight schools and the Apprentice. A Woodwode, our Zvart and Zvart Warlock of Ragzavort, Yognaloth, Yanogu, Yethhound, five Yuantis from Volos, Zaratan, Zeriel, and Zuktmoy, our Demon Queen. Now, at the end of our list here, and you see that's 262 creatures because it's missing the category of cattle and the category of dinosaurs. So 260 monsters, but I believe we are missing, right from the top of our uh, table of contents in Morning Canons, the Abyssal Wretch. I don't really know a lot about that creature but it didn't seem to appear anywhere in this table of contents. Our Mind Flayer Lich. Now I feel like this could be included way up somehow with the Alhoon, which is one of the first creatures we listed here uh, because the Alhoon is this arcane Mind Flayer, does not rely on Psionics uh, and is kind of an outcast. 
And similarly, an arcane or a lich mind flayer would also be kind of an arcane based creature. So I'm wondering if maybe there will be some notes about that with the Alhoon, but I don't know. Looks like we're missing it. Likewise, jump to the bottom here for a sec. We are missing the sacred statue that was associated like right with the Eidolon stat block in Mordenkainen's Tome of Foes. So maybe it's with the Eidolon here. Don't know for sure. Not listed in the table of contents anyway. And then the big thing that we seem to be missing, which would have totally stood out in the table of contents, but I didn't see it anywhere, were these five types of cool orcs from Volo's Guide to Monsters. The Blade of Inaval, the Claw of Luthic, Hand of Yurtris, Nurtured One of Yurtris, and Red Fang of Shargas. I don't really know why these would have been omitted. So maybe that's some kind of error. Again, maybe it's something I missed. The pictures are really blurry, but I spent a while working on this and hopefully it looks organized. Hopefully you can tell the effort I put in. So like I said, 260 monsters, there they all are. Those are the handful we might be missing. And the major thing for me is that I still like these books a little better because they're going to include the sections of lore that we don't get in, as far as I can tell, this new book coming out. So even though both of the bestiaries seem to be totally present, except for these handful of guys at the end here. I still feel like I'm kind of preferring these and it'll really just be a test of whether or not the quality of life improvements they're making to all these stat blocks are that much of an improvement. So if you found this useful, please give the video a like, consider subscribing, and keep building.